Man, Apple just had to go and support the iPhone 5S for another year. Really guys, this test couldn't possibly be any harder. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I'm so happy they are supporting it for another year. But in this video, let's go ahead and see head to head, how does iOS 12 compare to iOS 11.4, the latest version, and this is being iOS 12 beta one. In a variety of tests across every iPhone that currently supports both of these firmwares, let's see how they stack up. And guys, I just gotta say, even though iOS 12 seems okay, seems fast right now, we're gonna have to see with time, of course, as it develops, this is far from the public release so don't let this impact you know your actual view of iOS 12 down the road so let's go ahead and see how does iOS 11 compare to iOS 12 I want you guys to work with me here I understand it's a little messy a little busy so here we've got the 5s the 6 se and then the iPhone 6s on the left is going to be iOS 12 on the right 11.4 they're all synced up to the same uh, adapter here so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up in three two one and as close as possible, they should be going off. They started in pairs. Okay, so um, let's see what happens here. I really don't know where the startup test will land these. I haven't done any at all between 12 and uh, iOS 11, but I'm hoping iOS 12 pulls it off. Nope, 11, 11. So, so far on the fastest devices, it was iOS 11.4, and then iOS 12 on these guys. Pretty far behind, actually, I was like, 10, 15 seconds actually. iOS 11, iOS 11. So in all of these tests on the older devices, looks like iOS 11 was the winner. Okay, and the very same deal here. So on the very left, and I'm starting them up right now, by the way, on the very left, we've got the iPhone 7 series, 8 series, and then the iPhone 10. Now I'm not gonna be including the eight in all of them as it's pretty much almost the same internals as the iPhone 10 here, just a gigabyte less of RAM, but uh, I'll see what happens with the startup anyways. Looks like iOS 11.4, very weird entrance there, 11.4, 11.4, yep. iOS 12 is definitely much slower to start up. If you're in a pinch and need your phone to turn on a little bit faster, definitely will not with iOS 12. Next, I'm gonna test Touch ID and Face ID, starting with the iPhone 10. One, two, three. Actually, like, exactly the same. One, two, three. Mm. This time it's very hard to look at them at the same time. You have to be almost cross-eyed here, but I'd say it has not changed between these at all. And the iPhone 8 series with the screen off, one, two, three, almost exactly the same. Once again, one, two, three. Yeah, I'd say about the same. iPhone 7, same deal, one, two, three. Oh, a little bit of delay on iOS 12, one, two, three. Nope, actually exactly the same. iPhone 6S series, screen off, one, two, three. Mm, about the same, one, two, three. So I definitely wouldn't say that there's a difference with the unlocking so far. Let's go to the oldest device here, the iPhone 5S, one, two, three. Exactly the same still here. And just for the kicks, the iPhone 6, one, two, three. Let's see with the screen on, if there's a difference, one, two, three. Seems maybe a little bit faster with the screen on, one, two, three. Nope, about the same. Next, let's do some app launching on the slowest example here. Let's see if it really does make a difference. Apple made several claims. First off, that on the lock screen, bringing up the camera is 70% faster. Uh-uh, no, iOS 11 was actually faster on that one. Let's try that again. One, two, hmm, one, two. Maybe a little bit faster once you open it the second time, but the first time, no way. Okay, let's try the camera in here, one, two. Ah, yeah, once you load the camera from uh, within the app, actually, definitely a little bit faster. And uh, music, one, two. There's a little delay. Didn't open as fast. One, two. Ah, it doesn't seem like it's launching as fast. One, two. Okay, this one definitely opened up faster. And lastly, the phone app, one, two. A little bit faster, yeah. And moving forward to the iPhone 6 on the lock screen, the camera, one, two. Yeah, wow, that was almost twice as fast. See, that definitely feels 70% faster from the initial uh, time I opened it up. Let's try the camera in here, actually. And with everything cleared in the app switcher, let's try the camera in here, one, two. Hmm, can't say that was faster. Settings, one, two. Yeah, yeah, that did appear a little bit faster. Music app, one, two. There's a delay, it, like hangs before opening for some reason but otherwise everything else seems to be just as fast. Definitely feels a little bit faster here. And the iPhone 6S here on the lock screen, one, two, mm, maybe a little bit faster. And uh, actual camera with everything cleared out, one, two. Mm, felt the same, settings, one, two. Maybe a little bit faster, App Store, one, two. I'm gonna try testing a uh, more variety here, the weather, one, two. 
maybe a little bit faster, and a music one too. And a phone one too. And the iPhone SE, so camera one too. Yeah, that did appear a little bit faster. App switcher one too. <laughs> Nothing in there actually. Camera one too. It feels faster, it feels the same, it's hard to say. But in most cases, the content does appear first on iOS 12 and uh, the App Store one too. All right, so overall, I gotta say, I mean, it feels great on these older devices. On the newer ones, I'm not even gonna bother trying. I'll do it on the iPhone 10 just because there is so little difference between those. But uh, on the iPhone 10, let's check it out. I actually downloaded some third-party apps, so we'll test a couple out here. Let me close everything up. So I'm gonna lock it and see if the camera opens faster here. One, two. Okay, this one definitely did appear faster. I'm impressed. It definitely feels like the animation was a bit faster, initially anyways. So the camera inside, one, two. Yep, did appear a little bit faster. And a settings, one, two. Same, App Store, one, two. Same, let's try some third-party apps here. So YouTube, one, two. Appeared a little bit faster here. And Instagram, one, two. Hmm, still faster on 11.4. So the actual system stuff, the UI, it uh, feels great on both. Can't say there's a difference. The stock apps seem to load faster on iOS 12 over iOS 11.4.1. But uh, otherwise, it feels almost identical if you're using third-party apps. And I'll actually throw the iPhone 7 in here because might as well. It's a little bit of an older device by now. So sliding over, one, two. Hmm, maybe because my camera's damaged. Can't say for sure if that was concrete. Uh, clear everything out here. And maps, one, two. Uh, I did load the background a little bit faster here. Weather, one, two. Again, a little bit faster background. App Store, one, two. Nope. I've never opened it before, though, so that's why. And the music, one, two. So App Switcher, one, two. Hmm, dang, a little bit of a delay there. Control Center. Yeah, feels pretty much identical on the iPhone 7 as well. You know, uh, we'll have to get to the actual numbers to see if there's an actual difference. And I wanted to do some Safari tests as well. Apple has made some certain improvements to Safari. Let's see how that translates to speed on a medium device. Well, more of an older one, the iPhone 6 series. Here we go, YouTube, one, two, three. And I'm rooting for iOS 12, but no, iOS 11 was the first one here. CNN.com, one, two, three. And once again, it seems like 11.4.1. Oh no, actually iOS 12 a little bit faster here but the content showed faster on 11.4.1. And apple.com, one, two, three. So Apple's native website on both of these loads faster on iOS 11.4.1. Also wanna see HTML5 scores here. And this is basically the compatibility of the Safari browser. And it's higher on iOS 11.4.1. Maybe it's just because Apple hasn't optimized it fully yet, but hopefully it does improve with time. Okay, so let's do a Geekbench. This will give us some actual numbers. I was hearing good things that iOS 12 does help it along, especially with the graphics. All right, and I do apologize if this is kind of hard to see. I mean, with this many devices, it's really hard to put them into frame. In general, iOS 12 blew me away here. It is higher in score on every single device. I mean, especially on the iPhone 6S. It's got a very solid score there, even on the iPhone 10. That is a monstrous multi-core score. I think one of the highest I've ever seen on an iPhone 10. So I am beyond impressed. iOS 12 so far is very impressive. It is not slower. It's actually even better than the latest stable version of iOS 11. So I've heard from many of you that GPU performance has improved in your benchmarks. So I wanted to run a very quick N2 to here to see if the numbers have changed in the favor of iOS 12. By the way, just so you know what's going on here, that's the 5S over there, the 6, the 6S, SE. Over here is the iPhone 7, 8, and iPhone 10. Again, on the left is iOS 11.4. With this many devices, organization is very hard with this, so I do apologize. I'm very confused. Mixed results here all around. The iPhone SE did better on iOS 12. The iPhone 10 did better on iOS 12, but everywhere else it was either the same or worse. So a bit confused by that. And finally, to conclude this, I wanted to run a speed test. So usually between big major OSs, I notice that there is a big difference in actual download speeds, and I have gigabit here. So let's see what this one is capable of here. Usually I get about 250 to 300 on my iPhone 10. So I feel like there's already an improvement there. While this is working, I just want to say if you want to update to iOS 12, make sure to back up your stuff in case you ever want to restore back to iOS 11. Uh, it's very hard to go backwards. A lot of your apps may not work. Like for me, some banking apps aren't working and uh, yeah. Anyways, I don't know what's wrong with this one. It keeps getting stuck. So I'm already noticing an improvement, but this is most likely a glitch I'm experiencing here. Just 50 download, as you can see. I don't know why. And upload seems 
slower too. Oh, well, actually that seems normal. Okay guys, so there's the conclusion to this test. iOS 12 versus iOS 11.4 and the results really confused me, but in most cases, yes, iOS 12 is faster considerably in launching apps, launching the camera, especially on older devices. On the newer ones, I'm not sure if Apple's claims pertain to the new iPhones or the old ones, most likely the older ones, but I definitely didn't see that it slowed down in any way either. So I'm very excited to see where Apple takes iOS 12. I'm sure there will still be even more improvements and I'm very excited to see where it goes. Now, just so you know, I am running iOS 12 on my personal iPhone. I found it to be stable enough even at this point to run. There has been some random crashing, but it definitely hasn't been anywhere near as bad as past first betas of a new operating system. So just wanted to say thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.